Hey there, producer, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, overcast, but I think content, content today. The moon is in Aries, so your emotional focus today is actually your subconscious. You're probably spaced out. If you live in the United States, this is, of course, a holiday. And so you might be finding yourself at the barbecue staring in a strange space. That's because emotionally you are triggered by your subconscious and the weeds in your soul garden. But Venus is also ruling the day, so I don't think this is a bad thing per se for Tauruses. I just think that you are processing some old patterns, maybe to go back to your childhood. Maybe your dream life is a bit vivid right now. Pay attention to it. And if you find yourself wanting to overly emotionally react to a situation, ask yourself, is this a pattern in your life? Is this person insulting you a pattern? It's just like mom insulting you or your parents insulting you or your aunt insulting you. If that's the case, then the universe is exposing the weeds in your soul garden. The point is to take away the ability for those to uh, trigger you as deeply. Now, zipper on the sun, we are in chapter two of Sun and Virgo. And like I said, Venus is ruling the day. So that is part of your ruling planet. I think you are feeling kind of the sparklies of life. This is an excellent day to play for Tauruses. In chapter two, you want to explore and create new. So this is a great day to create new romance. It's a great day to create new aspects of your personal dream. This is a great day for me at Soul Garden to create a new portion of the site. This is a great day to create new. And remember in chapter two, we're still experimenting. So don't be hard on yourself. Don't be a critic. Just create new. Then lastly, Mercury is retrograde. That's right, Taurus. For the next three weeks till September 31st, Mercury will be retrograde. Right now it is in Libra. So you're rethinking lifestyle, rethinking how you should be in your body. That's the first part of this. Then you will also rethink some of your final creative plans. So in the last hour of Sun in Chapter 3 of Sun in Virgo, you're going to be looking at it from moving forward and also editing as you go. That's actually a benefit in disguise. This is all going to happen as the Sun and Mercury conjunct over Saturn. It's going to be a very powerful moment. It is us getting over the hill with the Saturn transit. But today, right now, Rethink your lifestyle, rethink your health, rethink whether or not your daily routines serve your inner dreams or do not serve your inner dreams. Then lastly, speaking of service, Julie Zipper is live today with a new episode of Meditation Vibration. She goes live every Monday. We call it Meditation Mondays. She's going to get deep on the Chapter 2 of Sun and Virgo. She's a beautiful Leo and she's going to help you through guided meditation. Taurus, if you want your dreams to come true, take advantage of our entire Kaiser Spiritual Ente team here. We are here to help you grow. Take advantage of Julie. She's live today on The Mothership. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So